Hi, and welcome to my channel, Collectibles for Resale. Uh, if this is your first time here, my name is Charisma, and again, my channel is Collectibles for Resale. Um, that is my email address if you want to reach me in regards to anything that you see today. If there's anything that you're interested in, um, if you can leave a timestamp, brief description, if I list a price, and or you can also email me. Um, and I generally am doing jewelry unboxings, but I do other types of unboxings, thrift hauls and um, collectibles. I do a couple of mystery boxes that I unbox. And so today I have a online auction haul of jewelry. And I believe this one was between six and seven pounds. I can't remember exactly. So I'm gonna open that for you today and we're just gonna sort through it and kind of see what's in there. So I'm gonna open this up. And that is the security tank. Sent in so that people aren't going through the auction once you want it. So before I would kind of stop the videos, go in and, and sort everything out and then come back to it. But for time purposes, um, I need to get these items out and listed. Um, I sold all of my crafters lots that I had listed. I've got about eight or 10 more that I have not listed. So if anybody's interested in that, um, I can always, um, you can always shoot me an email and I do it in the medium flat rate box. Um, it's going to be anywhere between eight to 15 pounds, depending on what I can fit in there. And it's going to be items that are from previous videos that I did not, I chose not to sell. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just start pulling stuff out and see what we got. So got a little pearl bracelet. This looks like a lot of fashion jewelry. This is an Amazon tag that I used to sell on Amazon. This ASIN, that was their internal number. Uh, Lux accessories, flower mix. It's probably a, um, where a person does their own, um, they create their own products. It's just a generic product. But I mean, it's a nice new set of bangles. So those are cool. If anybody's interested in this set of new bangles, I would do $3 on that. And shipping is under a pound at $6. Um, so if you have multiple things and they're all under a pound, that's, they'd all go for the same one, one shipping price. Anything over that, I try to do the cheapest um, priority, maybe flat rate if that's possible. And looks like we had a pair of maybe clip-ons, but this is definitely missing the other part. So these were in that little bag, if you saw, they have pretty components, the little clear stones. Let's see. Oh, is that? Maybe not. I thought these were earrings, but maybe that's, I don't know. That's interesting. I'm not sure. So let's see. Maybe if somebody has any um, info, but I'm, I know I'm missing something here. Mm, I was thinking, are they like extenders? First thing that went into my head is like, is it a men's accessory? But this looks like feminine or female accessory. I don't think so. I'm not sure. But uh, yep, yeah, there's that. Okay. And if this is your first time watching, um, these lots are just from online. Um, it could be thrift stores. There are some just um, auction companies. And generally, it'll just say, like, you know, mixed jewelry lot. Uh, it can say parts repair, uh, repurpose, refurbish, that kind of thing. So you can get old, new, vintage, designer crap, dollar store stuff. I mean, you just, you never know what you're going to get. You get a glimpse with the, you know, like a photo, but it's just very just whatever you see on top. So, you know, you're not gonna be able to tell what in all it is. But um, here's a little watch. This is new with tags, press button. 6.88 was the retail cost. So if somebody's interested in that, that's cute for Valentine's Day, I would do two on that. Uh, let's see. I've got a single earring, try and separate those for, see if there's any mates. Let's see. Yeah, these are just some very inexpensive, um, Chinese earrings, you know, the stuff you can buy on eBay and they ship it for 10 cents. And yeah. Okay. So that's not what I'm really looking for. What I'm looking for is either vintage or designer pieces, but of course you're going to get what you get. So, um, and a lot of these, like I said, I, you know, you can sell fashion jewelry, of course. Um, but I prefer to put my time into like designer pieces or nicer pieces. This is a nice necklace. It's got these clear dangle beads hanging and then it's got the clear clear beads let's see 
I need to get my measuring tape. I usually just measure them as I'm going along and I forgot to put it here on the table. So here we go. Hopefully it will stay put and not move around. So let's see, this one measures approximately 10 inches. So that's about 20 inches. And then with the pendants, it drops to 11, so 22. So something like this, I would do $2 on. This is a little, um, just a beaded woven bracelet with a, looks like a, um, I'm trying to think the Native Americans, the dream catcher, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But um, yeah, that, that would be a dollar. Most of these things, they're, they're just gonna go into my crafters lot. But um, since I'm just doing it on the fly and not like stopping and breaking everything up, I'm just gonna kind of go through them. And if it's crafters lot, it'll be a dollar by itself. Or if you're interested in a box of goodies, um, you're certainly welcome to, I will give you a good price on it. Okay, let's see. So this is a, looks like glass. You know what, I'm gonna turn on my Presidium gem tester just in case there's anything that it's looking interesting in case we want to test something. Put that in. I did not do that before I started the video. So I apologize. I've been very scatterbrained. I hate to say that about myself, but just got a lot going on with family and other things. So, and then the holidays. So I'm going to get through it and we're going to get organized and get back on track. That is my new year's resolution get more organized. Well, I'm sure that's everybody's in some way or fashion. Okay, so back to this. Um, it has to warm up, but I'm fairly certain this is glass. Very pretty pendant on this black cord. And that measures 12 inches. And then the pendant drops another two inches. So 24 to 26 inches on this. And I'm just going to put it to the side. And then once the uh, Presidium, once the gem tester warms up, I will test it just to see, verify that it is glass. That's what it feels like. It is hard to tell with the gloves on. And sometimes I wear gloves, sometimes I don't. Um, these are from a thrift auction. So um, I tend to wear my gloves when I get things from them because a lot of times the boxes will be full of other things also and a lot of dirt. And a lot of the pieces are used and they will have a lot of dirt. And so my fingers just look at completely black and so if it's something a little better or a, you know something I can tell where it's like newer things then I might not wear the gloves because I like to be able to feel I like to feel the like the pearls and the different materials so this is cool I've had this brand I don't know if it's sold at Target or where it's sold but this is new $12.99 it's got the little um plastic like tag here where it's connected where you could not steal it so that one is definitely new okay it looks like the Presidium has warmed up so we will check this. Oh, sorry. Ah, there we go. It's moving to glass. So yes, this is a glass piece. This is nice. Um, so this piece right here, I would do five. That's, I mean, that's a good price for a piece of glass pen and it's really beautiful. I don't see a maker or anything. So put that to the side. Here's another single earring. Put that to the side for now. Any earrings, unless they're like happen to be in there, paired up, like linked together, they're probably just gonna be loose like that. So let's see. Mm. I can't tell if that is tangled or that's the way it's meant to be. It looks like that is purposeful. Okay, so that is definitely made that way. Because if you can see, see how the chain kind of wraps around it. That's what I was trying to figure out. It looked like it was tangled, but it's actually just the design. So let's see, this one measures approximately 11 inches, so about 22 inches. So the clear stones, these gunmetal looking uh, stones in there. So yeah, for something like this again, like $2, um, this would be craft lot. Let's see. Hopefully there's not too many tangles because that was the whole reason why I would stop and do it but I just for time's sake I don't have time to edit and stop the video so I'm just doing it in one shot we're doing it quick and dirty so hopefully it's okay like this oh this is a nice Chico's usually a lot of times I'll find them and they're very tarnished and you can't tell they might start off silver and look like copper but this is actually copper 
And I like this hammered gold tone pendant in the middle. It's got really nice beads. Really pretty. Uh, nice statement piece. So the chain goes down to about 10. With the pendant, it goes down to 12. So about 20 to 24 inches. And um, this, and these are subscriber prices. I would do $5 on this. If it goes on eBay, of course, it's going to be like 15 to 20 depending on what it is. So I'm happy to give you guys first dibs. Let's see. Is this another Chico's? It looks like it. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're two for two. Let's get this on the last. So at its longest length. Oh, I wonder if this, does this go here? Huh. That's interesting. Let's see. It looks out of place, but it's on both of them. So I guess not. This uh, ring, I mean, it goes with the the look of it but it just is odd that it's just like a single but they don't move so yeah there's no way for it to have like gone down through the necklace so okay that's that's the design this is cool it's got these pretty blue and purple stones silver tone and that goes down to 12 inches so that's 24 inches and again on the chicos usually it's just going to be five unless it's something special or if it's a piece that i'm going to put in crafters so these are pretty pretty purple faux pearls. These are very large. just want to see how long these are. They feel cool to the touch. They're right at 10, so about 20. And they're all the same size. These almost look like they could be. Hmm. I'm not sure on this. This all I have been separating my pearl jewelry, putting it aside, and then I'm gonna kind of go through and watch some more videos. So that one I'm just gonna put aside for now. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. It's a very big statement piece. It looks like it could be a Chico's or a Charming Charlie's, but I don't see any maker's tag. So I'm assuming it's just a Best fashion, but it's pretty. So that has that large shell pendant, and then we've got these matching colored beading across. Let's see. This measures 10 at the necklace, and then the pendant is almost three inches by itself, so it goes down to like 13. It's about 20 to 26 inches. I don't think this is glass. I think this is just, but let's just double check. Oh, it actually is coming out as glass on there. So if you can see the presidium, it went up to glass. Okay, so glass, a shell. So this is an interesting piece. I like this. Um, and I would keep with the, the $5 on that piece, just like the other one, similar to the Chico's. Um, let's see. Looks like a Chico's tag. Yes, we have another Chico's. Okay, so this is a decent box. Um, at least it's got, you know, a few pieces that are um, known designer. You know, they're not like high end, but they're they're known makers. So people that like Chico's, they love their Chico's. So here we go. It's pretty. Um, let's see. Make sure nothing is broken. That's just the style of it. I was thinking this might be broken, but that's the design. That's the way they are. Those spacers are like half open. Oh, that's cute. So it's double strand. Got these neutral tones. Really pretty. Looks like fall. That would have been perfect like for Thanksgiving. This is a nice, nice color. So, so the first strand ends at nine. Second strand ends at ten. So about 18 to 20 inches. And five dollars on that. And here we have our infamous seed bead <laughs> bracelet. And if you go back and watch any of my videos, I'm going to guarantee you that 9 out of 10, there's going to be one of these. Just different varying colors, but it's like, it's a thing. Every box, I get one. So I, I just put these to the side for a dollar. They're pretty. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I just, it's a no name, so it's harder to like market and sell it. So I just like to put them in lots in my crafters lots or I'll sell them for a dollar. That is a big honk and pendant. I like these stones. These beads, these also feel cold. And it doesn't, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, it's a stretch, okay. Uh, it feels okay, but it looks like that stretch is like 
lace. I want to check one of these just to see. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Presidium. So right now it's on. No, you know, it's not reading anything. And so I'm going to do the green stone. So yeah, those are coming up glass. Okay. And the pendant too. Okay. So, um, I don't love the stretch. I mean, it's, it is stretching, but, um, I love the stone. So this one, I would do $3. That's going to be as is because you may have to restring that. I'm thinking, and if not, it might go into just crackers, but for now, if anybody's interested, it's a good piece, but it just needs a little love. So here's an individual and another single earring. Oh, I got a really cool one of these that look like liquid silver and copper. So maybe I can match it up with this one. I've got a whole box that's going to be um, crafters lot of bracelets. And I'm going to say 90% is wearable, sellable, and maybe a few have some kind of damage. But it's just tons and tons of bracelets that I don't have time to list. Look at how pretty that is. I like this. Yeah. So this one I would do three on. All right. Let's see. Oh, and I do have my thing back here. Sorry about that. I did not measure any of the other ones, but let's see. It's kind of hard because it's multi-strand. Can't see where it exactly ends, but I'm going to say like six and a half about. <laughs> Give or take. We can just measure it long-wise. Now, long-wise, it goes seven and a half, but... I don't know that that's the same as the other measurement. But yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. And we've got this black corded, this plain necklace. So this one I would do two dollars on. Let's see how long this one is. That one goes right down to ten, so that's twenty inches. Sorry if I'm going fast. I need to remember to slow down so that you guys can see it. I have been trying to work on that. I was got some feedback about that, and I am trying to do better. I'm just like, ah, I'm in a hurry. I want to make sure that you guys get to see everything, and I got to stop for a second. So this is Melrose and Market Nickel Free. I like this blue stone it's from Nordstrom. So, I mean, that's a good brand, good store. And, oh, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put this here because you can't see it. And let me move this here. So let's do that again. That way you guys can see. So we've got the Presidium. And we're going to test this blue stone. And I don't want the this to be in the way. So it's going up past glass. And looks like it's on the line of the Tanzanite Aqua or Jadeite. I'm thinking it's the Tanzanite slash Aqua. Because it kind of has the line for each one and they kind of overlap a little bit so this is pretty i'll have to look this one up i don't know this brand but i mean that's a nice stone so yeah i'll put this one to the side and look at that one all right okay dokey let's see just like a fashion necklace there's some pretty pieces in here some pretty fashion pieces Everything doesn't have to be designer to sell either. So if you're like new to this and you're just watching videos to try and get an idea, um, you know, just because you don't get anything like designer doesn't mean you're not going to be able to sell it. It's just easier to market it. But, you know, if you can put in the right keywords, you'll be fine. You can sell it on style. So this one goes down to about eight and a half and then the pendant goes down to 10. So it's about 17 to 20. It has this pretty blue stone and then these other stones on here. And if something registers, I'll tell you, but I can show it. Okay, so that's coming up glass. Now, if you can see that, yep, that's glass. So this is pretty. So we'll do five on that also. And let me get, did I tell the measurement? Yes, I did. Okay. Can't even remember. It's just like my brain is just going mom in it. Okay. So these are pretty green stones. They kind of look like today, but I don't think so. Now they feel like... I'm going to go ahead just, I mean, I bought the machine to use it, right? So I'm going to test. Nope, no reading. Okay. So this is just like a pretty little fashion piece. 
Um, goes down to 14, and then with the pendant, 16. So I would do a dollar on that if anyone's interested. That's pretty. That disc circular pendant. Let's see if there's anything in here. What we got? Oh, and I do have my little magnets too. I forgot about that. Just in case we need to check anything. Majority, I'm probably not going to find anything gold or silver, but you never know. Doesn't hurt. So, oh, looks like a new little, this looks like something maybe from China. That's cute. Cute little set. I would do um, $3 on the set. It's a necklace pendant and look, next necklace. Pendant and earrings. Is that a bracelet? That might be a bracelet. Yeah. There's four pieces in there. I don't know. Okay. So there's that. Thank God it's not crazy tangled. Hopefully it's not making too much noise. Oh, this is pretty. This it's giving me J. Crew vibes, but I doubt it. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Oh, Express. Okay. I've seen some of their pieces do okay. I mean, they're a mall brand, so they're not super high end, but they do make some pretty things. Pretty clothes, too. Nice clothes for men. I remember when my son was in high school a long time ago, over 10 years ago, and that was like the brand at the mall. So I remember having a card for them and getting points, and they had really nice men. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I got interrupted. My phone went off and it stopped the video. So hopefully I can still get this one up without any issues. Okay, so this one measures about 10. And then with the pen, it goes down to 11. Look at how pretty this is. Very nice. I don't see any issues. I'm just kind of looking over to make sure there's not any missing stones or anything. And I do not see any issues. I don't see any tarnish on it. Looks good. Yeah, so $5 on that. Nice statement piece. Okay. Some of these need a little bit of cleaning up, polishing. The silver on here is, I mean, silver tone probably. A little scratched. And these have little scratches. But I'm going to go ahead and just measure it. That measures to 10. So I would do a dollar on this um, as is because of the little scratching. There's nothing wrong with the chain. You can totally wear it still. It looks okay. You just might want to just, you know, buff it out and clean it up. So there's that. All right. Princess Cruises. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't know people got uh, jewelry from Princess Cruises. But not sure about that. I'm sure they're probably a couple bucks. It's a special offer for only $10. Upgrade to a larger pendant and earring set. Interesting. So these are probably not worth much. Um, I would say I'm going to put them in the crafters lot. I'll just double check to make sure they're not anything. But if they're not, a dollar's fine. And let's see. What do we got here? Oh, that's an interesting bracelet. Oh, this is broken. Too bad. It looks like it. Let's see. Stainless steel. Yeah, I'd had a cool design. But that's okay. So this is broken. Broken. So that's. Crafter's lot for sure. And these feel very like inexpensive. Just a cheapy necklace. Yeah, that's just Crafter's lot. It's got image. And... Let's see. Again, sorry about if it's loud. But again, fastest way to do this is just to do it all at once for you guys. And then I get it up and we can move on to the next one. I have a huge back stock of jewelry to be unboxed. So I got to get, get it unboxed so that I can get it up for sale. So let's see. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. So this is just a little tangled up, but let's see. How does it lay? So it's multi-strand. Pretty brown beads and strands and... So it hangs like that. Let's put the clasp on. It's a big, big lobster claw. All right. So let's see it hanging. That is pretty. Is this missing? Doesn't. No. That's the way it is. So it's like 
smooth here and it's flat and then it has this raised looks like bark very pretty so you know not a designer again this is just a nice statement fashion piece so chain ends around 10 pendant goes to around 13 so it's about 20 to 26 hanging so yeah i would do two dollars on that all right see oh this is cute i like these clear bead stones i don't think they're glass but i'm gonna check one because like i said i paid money for this good money for this gem tester and we're gonna test no glass on that no glass okay so it's just plastic probably loose sight maybe it's pretty though i like these colored let's see what this measures right at 15 so that's a 30 inch very long in Tennessee interchanging it's got a heart shape square a circle and then this flat circular and eh, little squares these little faceted very cute so yeah I would do two on that all right let's see what we got these are pretty stones. I'm just, I like, I guess, more muted. I'm learning what I like when I go through these. I like this gray, beige, cream. Like, it doesn't have to be boring because they're neutral colors, but they look nice with a little, these have really pretty little fire spacers, little uh, clear stones, rhinestones. Really cute. So let's see. That's three strand. The shortest strand ends at nine, then 10, then 11. So it's 18 to 22 inches, three strands, really pretty stones, and then the gold tone, and it has a, where it just hooks together here. That's a nice one. I would do four on that. All right. Oh, how cute is this? I'm trying to like separate things that'll be nice for Valentine's Day too, like heart things. I've got a really pretty heart pendant that I just um, unboxed and another one and a couple little pieces. I really like this. This is, what is this? Tarina Tarantino. I think that's what it says. Let me check the magnifier. Tarina Tarantino. Yeah, that's what it says. I don't know if you guys can see that here. But uh, just to show you what I'm using now, this is really cool. My mom got this for me to help me with my business. Really sweet. And it's like a stand-up magnifier lit, lit up. Really nice so that I'm not losing my loop all the time <laughs> since I'm always losing it. I'll have this on my desk and I can use it. So, okay. It doesn't read glass. So I think it's plastic, but this is so cute. Oh, I feel like it's missing that. I think it should go all the way around. Oh, that's too bad. That is cute. Well, if somebody wants to fix this or, I mean, you can wear it like that and I wouldn't tell, but yeah, I would have to put in crafters for a dollar. That is so cute. All right, let's see. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. Multi-strand, got these turquoise. It looks like how light. And I hope everyone had a nice, lovely holiday. Christmas, that's when I'm recording this. The day after Christmas, I don't know when you'll be seeing this, but hope everyone had a nice time and is safe and got to see their family and or stayed home and rested. Okay, that's about 12, so about 24 inches at the longest. Whatever makes you happy, I hope that you were able to do that. I do have a family member in the hospital and we were, God, it's always so hard with the parking and we were like, ooh, I bet there's going to be a lot of people here visiting family. We went early at nine this morning. There was 90% of the parking was open. So it was great for us. But I just felt bad because there were so many people there without family, but I'm hoping, you know, maybe they're just going to go later. But um, yeah, it was really nice. We surprised my uncle's there and he was so happy to have company and visitors and really nice. So that's what we did. Then we came home and we watched movies and ate and hung out. So it was a nice, nice day. Okay, so 
the well, shortest is 10, then the longest goes to 13. So this is just like a fashion. Yeah, so I would do two on this. It's pretty, it's got pretty blue stones, these green beads, really pretty. So there you go. Ooh, this sucker's heavy. Okay, let's see. I'm hundred very sure that this is silver tone, but it's not taking that magnet. It might be something else. Let's see. That's 14. That's 28 inches. Let's see if these stones read as anything. Okay. Those went straight to aqua. That's cool. These are pretty. Very heavy. I will check this to see. I don't think it's silver because it almost looks like rust. Hmm. That blue underneath. And then it's got these. That is so pretty. Yeah, I'll have to check on this. I like this a lot. Very pretty. I'll put that to the side. So, pretty good box. I'm very happy with it. Here's another pearl necklace. I'm thinking they're faux, but I'm, like I said, I'm separating everything, but just so you can get a, a view of it. I'm trying to learn. I really want to learn the ins and outs of like real pearls, fake pearls, and that's the best way to do it is to have examples of everything. So, and be able to check them and see. I'll probably do a thing with Dr. Lori and uh, Dr. Lori V. And that way I can kind of figure out because I have a few that I think are real and then that way I can use those to judge what is fake so this is really cool it's just a funky design I like this blue cord and then it's got these cool stones look at those colors that is really neat they almost look like claws I just want to check one just to see I think it's plastic but yeah they're not coming up class so this is just a pretty nice really cool special piece different than anything i've seen so that goes down to 10 and then the longest one goes down to 11 so 20 to 22 i would do five on that and this is like another little fast fashion either looks like charming charlie's or something like that it might not even be a name yeah i don't see any makers that's cute cute beads so that measures 10 so i would do two on this Oof, bonus hair that I don't want. Thank you. Uh, yeah, these are just, just a little cheapy one. It's going into crafters. I don't like stuff that has hair like that. Ugh. Okay. Oh, these are cute. I like this. It's got the uh, lifesaver closure. Got the green clear beads. Little silver spacers in between the beads. These little filigree designed spaces so let's see this one feels like good quality it measures 11 so about 22 inches so i would do five on this this is really pretty let's see okay so this is Republic from Francais 2000. Is it 2000? No. 71908. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to use my magnifier. So, yeah, Republic Francais. Looks like 908, 1908, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, a little bangle. I don't think it's anything crazy. So. I just got the little tassel on there, but uh, yeah, I would do like three on that. That's an interesting piece. I'm very happy with this box not being completely tangled. I'm actually having very good luck with some of these, so that's the first. Oh, I like this. This is very cool. I like the beading on this and this pendant. It's got this pretty... Uh, looks like little clear beads tassel so 
a necklace measures 19 and then with the tassel and the pendant that goes down to 23. Ah, that's a long one. You definitely double up on that one. I do want to check this pendant, see if it's anything. Oh, okay. So, there we go. Let me see. If you can see that, I'll do it again. Kind of move this over. So right now, nothing. And we're going to test that pendant. And that is going up to jadeite and aqua. So see how it has jadeite at the top and then aqua's there. I guess it's aqua. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. I like this a lot. So this piece, I would probably do a little bit higher. I like this for 20. Um, definitely probably gonna list it higher on mine as well. That's a little more special. Some pretty gemstone earrings. Let's see. This looks like I'm all brand like Kato's or something like that. Uh, let's see. Now Maker's Mark that I see. Huh, they almost got me. It kind of look like the J. Crew little tab that they use. But no, that is not. So let's see. That's eight at the bottom and down to ten. So sixteen to twenty. So I would do two on this. It's pretty fashion. That's pretty. Kind of looks like a sun. Got an interesting design. And then this looks like four leaf clover kind of or butterflies or I'm not sure. But it's kind of cool. And let's see. So this clips on here. And that measures right about nine with the pen it goes down to twelve. So eighteen to twenty-four. This is a cool color. It reminds me of like a sun. Let's see if it comes up. Okay, well that registers under glass. Or tourmaline. I'm assuming it's glass because tourmaline I think it's more red. Not a hundred percent. But yeah, this is kind of cool. So I would do three on this. Interesting piece. All right, let's see. A little bit of a tangle here, so I'm gonna unhook this and see. Let's see if we can get it to go get straightened out a little bit here. these pieces these gold tone uh, it's got a big lobster closure lobster claw I don't see a maker so shortest one ends at 11 goes down to about 14 with this longer piece right here so this is neat I like this a lot I would do four on that okay this is cute this looks like a piece of Jake crew piece that I had I don't think this is a, any designer or Maker's Mark brand. No, this looks like, this looks like mall fashion maybe. And when I say that, please don't think that I'm saying it derogatory. It's just, I'm talking about for resale, like how I can list it. So um, I think a lot of these pieces are just, just as nice or prettier. They just, you know. Okay, so that goes to about 10, about 20 inches. And it's got these cool clear stones. So that's a nice statement piece. I would do three on this. These seed beads always get tangled, tangled, tangled. Okay, let's see. All right. It's giving me patriotic, 4th of July, red, white, and blue, Memorial Day, all these uh, really cool uh, America kind of vibe. There's red, white, and blue. It's pretty. 
It's got a little bit of tangling, but that just needs to be kind of straightened out. I don't think, no, that's not an issue. Okay, so here we go. Multi, multi, multi strand. I'm gonna measure it from the end. I like to get the longest measurement because if you know the longest, you know it's not gonna fit. If it's that's too short, it's not gonna fit. So there we go, look at that, so pretty. So the shortest area ends right at 10 and a half, and then it goes down to about 12 and a half. So about 21 to 25 inches, something like that. So it's a really cool statement piece. I like it. Um, I would do five on this red, white, and blue seed bead. We've got this pretty stretch. Looks like how light. I don't normally sell these. I usually put them in crafters. Uh, let's see. That is registering. I just moved up just a little bit on the glass. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's right on the glass, so. Uh, I would do two on this. It's got a good stretch. Let's see what else we can pull out. Not too many earrings, so. We've got a New York, NY, New York and Company. Okay, that's a really pretty bracelet. I like this. Uh, it's got like four uh, woven, four beads, but not beads, I'm sorry. The It's got the brown, like leather woven, and then the black. So two strands is what I meant. And then all these cool, pretty decorative little rings and rhinestones. That's really pretty, cool tone. So let's see. So that measures about eight and a quarter. All right. So yeah, this one I would do three on. That's really pretty. Ah, I like this. Reminds me of Southwestern Native American, kind of. I mean, I know that's not exactly, but that style, I get that vibe from it. Very pretty. This is cool. Um, I would do three on this also. Stretch, but the stretch is fine. So it's anywhere between seven and a quarter down to, you know, eight and a quarter, you get the little stretch. So I think that's pretty much one size fits most. Uh, just a little cheapy one, dollar. Like, well, I don't know if it's broken or that's, ugh, there's hair, there's the hair. Okay, wouldn't be a box without some hair. So this is interesting. So yeah, they definitely like added on different lobster claw closures. So that is not the original, but I mean, it looks like it will do the job. Um, you can close it, I believe. Let's see, that would be an as is because of the closure. Yeah, I mean, it works, it definitely works. You could wear it and you would not really be able to even tell. It's just because I, you know, have to look at it. But yeah, I'll do two dollars on this one, and that's really cool. I just want to replace the closure or whatever, but it works like that. Okay, some more single earrings. Getting down to the wire, and there wasn't like a bunch of dirt or anything, which is nice because a lot of times you empty these suckers out and it's just dirt everywhere. This is a cool like crystal pendant. Let's see if that registers anything. Okay, so that's glass. Yeah. Or it was on the, let's see. This I'm still trying to learn where it lands. So it's on the glass, but like it's more in the middle of tourmaline. Let's see, it's because it could be in, this is the this is where I'm starting to try and figure out. So if anybody has any tips on using it and like how to read it, I know it's supposed to be where the, in the middle of the line. So let's see. So let's get a good one. So there's the middle of glass and it's like right there. So it could just be glass, but then that also falls where the, what is it? Crystal phrase, quartz, tourmaline and tanzanite, but you know, not exactly under them. So yeah. Nonetheless, it's a cool pendant. So, yeah, by itself, I would just do $3 on this. This is cool. 
All right, let's finish looking at what we got here. Got this cool corded black, corded braided necklace. Got some pretty silver pendants hanging on there. This one's got some clear stones. Oh, it's missing a stone right here. Just saw that. Okay, well, that'll have to go in crafter. So that'll be a dollar if somebody wants to, re you can either replace it or take that one off. I mean, if I wasn't like dissecting this, I wouldn't have seen that. Okay. Let's see. A little bit of a tangle here. Okay. Come on. Let's get you undone. Okay. So I've got this necklace. Looks like it's double strand. These really cool iridescent. I was going to say like riveted, but I'm not sure. These are like interesting beads. They have that shimmer. So this is very long. So that is oops, 17. So about 34. And it's it's a, a double double chain double link so that's really pretty i would do three on that this is cool i've been getting a few of these glass pendants different ones in different boxes i like this a lot this is neat it's like a starfish i believe this is a glass pen i know sometimes they're plastic this looks like it oh maybe it is plastic this one might be plastic okay well it's not coming up glass but Sure does feel like the other ones that were glass. Anyhow, I don't know that this was originally on here or not. I guess, I mean, it does have like a copper silver tonish like underline, but who knows? But I mean, it's together right here. You can switch out the pen and I guess if you like, or if you like it, leave it on there. So cute. Let's get a good measurement. So that goes to right at 10 and then the, with the pen and it goes to 12 and a half. And there's a good look at that. So, yeah. I would do three on this piece. That's a pretty piece. Unusual. There's another one of them. Little crystal pendants that I did three on the other one. Same on this. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. I feel like the CB is going to be very tangled within itself. But let's give it a try. I might be able to just find where it is and just kind of fix it okay so here's the end that always helps just find your endings and then you can kind of go from there to sort it okay so we've got one in here one in here got some hair in there okay all right here we go I like this because it's not just CB. They've like intertwined with some really cool other pendants and pieces in there, some beads, the seed beads, and then these little round cabochon stones. Really cute, like an ombre effect. It's got the lightest to the darkest. So this is really nice, nice statement piece. And that goes to right at 10, so that's about 20 inches. So this one I would do five on. Okay, got some little fashion earrings made for cracker barrel huh i've never seen cracker barrel cracker barrel jewelry so yeah these are cute i don't have to look i mean i'm i would say three dollars on those but um that's interesting i know some of their collectible stuff can go for good money after it retires because there's not that many cracker barrels not like it's something you know that you go to a target and there's like a million of them everywhere so who knows maybe their jewelry is sought after Okay, so this is three and a half, that's seven, let's see. That's like six and a half, okay. So this looks like it matches, there's the necklace in here, yep. So here we go, necklace and the bracelet. So if you want the necklace and then you want to add on the bracelet, it'll just be $2 for that. By itself, I would sell this for four, but with the bracelet, with the necklace, I would just add it on for $2. Okay, 
And of course, don't feel obligated to buy anything. I'm only giving prices because when I first started doing this, um, I had no intention of doing direct sales. I was doing it for fun because I'd watched it and I love seeing jewelry. And then I started getting emails and questions about like, well, what's the pricing and how much, you know, things are. And so from there, I was like, okay, well, people want to know. Um, but if, obviously, just watch it if you enjoy that and don't worry about like if you want to buy something or not. But if you are interested, that's why I give you the information to make it a little bit easier instead of trying to guess. So, all right, let's see. This one, okay, here we go. And it's just a little inexpensive red stone, red bead, clear. So I would do a dollar on this. And this one measures 12, so that's 24 inches. Here's a cute little bracelet with the lifesaver closure. It's got black stones and the silver spacers and then the balls. So that's about six and a half. I'll do a dollar on this one. see that's cute it's got looks like the how light we've got uh, like a little flower with a little blue turquoise looking uh cabochon and these pretty marbled white stones this is a stretch and it's got these pretty cute like transparent kind of uh these are neat little cubes that's pretty i'm just gonna double check this pendant and uh, this uh, necklace oh my god bracelet yeah, this is coming up class. This is cute. I don't normally like to do these, like I said, but I actually like this one. Okay. Yeah, I would do three on this. So, there it is one more time. See the stone, see that. Really cute. I believe there's a mate for that. Let's see. Got another one of these. Oh, I've got one in every color. These are cute. So, same on that. These little skinny minis. I would lock these up for a dollar, like three or four of these. I know I have more in here. And let's see. What else? It might just be junk here on the bottom. Uh, yeah, that would be crafter's lock. And then let's see, we've got two more necklaces. Oh yeah, this one is not in great condition, so that's definitely crafter's. Uh, this one looks very like um, rusted here, the closure. It's got pretty seed beads, these iridescent, really pretty, but yeah, that's definitely crafters. There's some earrings that match that necklace too. So yeah, uh, we've got some pretty little purple stone, like clear stone earrings dangle. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these, I don't really like mess with that. So it's just gonna be these last few little Dad, so we've got this pair. This looks like a vintage pair of earrings, and I do see some kind of maker. So I'm gonna come over here, use my handy dandy magnifying, and let's see. Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, something Lee looks like Judy Lee, maybe that's what it looks like. J U D Y L E E is what I'm reading, but I'm not 100%. So See that inner gives you even closer. I think that's Judy Lee. I'll have to research that. But um, really cool pair of vintage earrings. I don't see anything missing. So these are the type that I will look up. Those are really cool. Um, that's what I like. That's what I'm looking for. I just don't make things like these too. I love the vintage stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna go through these last pieces. I don't think there was anything else. Worth noting, yes, yeah, a couple pairs. Those are all going to go into crafters except for the vintage pair. And this is just fast fashion. Yep. So that, my friends, is the last of it. Um, if you stuck around to the end, I so appreciate it. If you could just leave a comment, um, let me know you're here at the end, and I appreciate you. Um, and I hope everybody had a lovely holiday and continues to and have a happy new year, blessed new year. Um, and is safe and happy and healthy. That would be wonderful. And if you're not subscribed, I would ask that you are. I looked at my analytics and it looks like a large percentage of viewers are not subscribed. So, you know, it doesn't cost anything and it's just a quick click and it helps my channel so much. So I would really appreciate it if you would consider doing that. Anytime you like it, comment or subscribe, it always helps um, share it, any of those things. So 
Um, I thank you so much for watching this, and I will be having new videos coming up soon. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.